With so much to do in one day, the deputy president's courtesy visit to the king was short. Then, one by one, the delegations came, winners, losers, and everyone in between. The reality is I've lost. Physically, I'll move to my house in the village. Uh, as far as uh, the job is concerned, I will continue uh, as a member of parliament, as in fact I've been elected by my constituency to be a member of parliament. Really, we have SADC in the country. We need to ensure that uh, we normalize the situation in the country so that our brothers and sisters who have done so much for us uh, can be comfortable that now the country is, is, is stable, that is peaceful and, uh, and stable, How, and at the same time to bring back the confidence of the uh, investors. As a country has been terribly dented. How so? Uh, because uh, we've had, uh, for instance, uh, a prime minister and head of government whose security was not in the hands of the Soto forces, but in the hands of South African uh, forces. Now, for a head of government of an independent, sovereign country to be secured and guarded by foreign forces shows the, the extent, the degree to which uh, things had gone wrong. For some who were part of a large South African police contingent who had been seconded to Lesotho, it's almost time to pack their bags and return home. Almost coming to an end, so soon you'll be going home. So it's just a few more days and uh, you've all done a very good job. We're very proud of uh, the work that you've put in here. Vuyom Vogo, SABC News, Maseru Lesotho.